think the PEL has a, a huge, bright future. Uh, the way they're bringing different weight of athletes together and arm wrestlers. Why? Uh, I think it's. I think it's going to be a good thing for the future. You know, it's uh, not just heavyweights against uh, heavyweights. It's it's mixed up, which is good. How did I prepare for this fight? I spent a lot of time in the gym. Uh, I know I've been told to uh, practice on the table, but I haven't been on the table. And uh, but I do uh, prepare a lot. I lift a lot in the gym. Uh, I spend about two to three hours a day in the gym trying to get ready and I've been trying to get a little bit stronger and a little faster. Probably the person that would be my idol in arm wrestling uh, would have to be John Brzezink. John's been around a long time. He's been very good for the sport, uh, a very good representative. He's uh, been all over the world arm wrestling and he's been in it for years and years and the man's probably got more matches under his belt than anybody else in the world. And uh, he's just an all around a, a great, great guy. If I had to compare myself uh, to when I was 25 years younger, uh, I was a lot stronger back then. Uh, I'm actually a little bit heavier right now. I weighed about 295 back then, but uh, my strength was uh, a lot more and uh, you know I'm 55 years old so age catches up a little bit but I still enjoy the sport and meeting new people and uh, you know pulling guys so it's, it's, it's still a lot of fun. Well everything I've heard and everything I've seen about the World Cup in Poland is it's probably uh, the, the toughest contest in the world to win. I mean they've got athletes from all over the world uh, I'm not sure if uh, you know America gets that many over there, but I think uh, this year we had quite a few guys over there, and uh, and uh, it would be a contest that I would love to participate in in the future. But uh, yeah, I, th I I think it's a like I say, I think it's the toughest contest to win, and uh, I'd love to be part of it in the future. Why I don't go over to Europe and uh, and uh, compete? Uh, I guess I really. You know, I was in uh, Sweden back in 1988, and uh, I know that's a long time ago, but I would love to come back over and uh, compete sometime. I just haven't had a chance to. Uh, like when the World Cup is going, it's usually in October of the year, and, and we're farmers, and so we're busy in the field harvesting. And so that's why I've never, uh, you know, tried to be over there for that. But if I could ever make it over there for either that or some other competition, I would love to. Compare the American competitors against the uh, European competitors at this last World Cup. You know, I, I haven't seen that much footage of the last World Cup, but I've heard things, and uh, I guess what I've heard was uh, Todd Hutchins made a very good representation. I think some of the other guys struggled the way it looks, and I think maybe it's because uh, they probably, uh, you know, didn't take... Uh, maybe didn't train hard enough or uh, they assumed that they were going to be competitive where uh, they found out that you know the Europeans are making great strides in arm wrestling and so uh, I think uh, the Americans are going to have to work a little harder. Well, the number of